For the following exercises, perform the indicated operation and express the result as a simplified complex number. Okie dokie. All right, so we done. We have done a couple of these questions before. If you're on the playlist, the complex number playlist, um, you could just go back and see those previous examples. And the link is in the description for everybody who wants to do all the complex number questions with moi, with me. <laughs> so let's let's go. Let's do this one. Okay, so we have 5 minus 2i, and it's all being multiplied by 3i. Okay, so we just need to simplify this, right? Now remember, when we have two parentheses, right? In this case, we have two parentheses, guys. Right, there's the first one. Here's the second one. And they're all being multiplied. We have to play fair. That's what I like to call it. We have to just be fair. So what this basically means is that the first term wants to be multiplied by that second term. But then the other term in the same parentheses is like, well, if you're getting multiplied, I need to get multiplied as well. They all have to play fair. So that's really what we're doing here. So the first thing is let's do the five times three I. 5 times 3 is 15, and you just drag along the i value. So that would be 15i. The next one, negative 2i times 3i. So if I just put this down here, negative 2i times 3i, you multiply the numbers. So a negative 2 times a 3 would be a negative 6, and with multiplication, you have to count up how many i's you have. You had one i here, you have two i's here, you have a total of two i's. So this would be an i squared. So just know the difference between multiplying i values and adding them. So since we're multiplying, this would be a negative six i squared. Okay, great. So we did the actual multiplication and simplifying. However, we need to get it into a simplified complex number. A simplified complex number is where you have your real value first. So two, three, four, five, negative two, negative three, just, just the numbers in the front. And then you put your imaginary numbers in the back. The imaginary numbers are the ones that have the I value. Now notice how I said I, right? I said I, but I didn't say I squared. I squared or any I above I, so I to the third, I to the fifth, I to the 250, you all have to simplify those. Well, hmm, you might be saying, Christina, how am I going to simplify that? There's a, there's a trick here. You have to know, so star this up, you have to know that I squared is the same thing as a negative one value. So anytime that you see an I squared, you can always just turn that into a negative one. So here I have an I squared, right? Here it is right here. Weep. And I can say that this is a negative one. And it's being multiplied still by that six, and that's negative. I mean, just drag everything else down, right? I can't change this guy because it wasn't an I squared, it's just an I. So if I keep going, this is 15I, negative six times a negative one is now a plus six. And now I'm getting closer to that simplified complex number. However, the real number has to come first. The six just has to be in the front. So I'm just gonna swap these around. So this is the same thing as saying six plus 15i. And that is your final answer. There you go. Here's your real value. Here's your imaginary value. That's it for this one. We're going to use the same type of idea for the second. So the second one says 6 minus 2i, and it's all being multiplied by 5. Oh, well, I have two parentheses being multiplied by each other. I have to play fair. That means that this first term is saying, ooh, yeah, I'm going to get multiplied by the 5. 
But then the negative 2i is like, well, if you're getting multiplied, I need to get multiplied as well. Everybody has to play fair. So let's do it. 6 times 5 is 30. Negative 2i times 5 is a negative 10i. And, I mean, can I simplify this anymore? Absolutely not, right? Um, I mean, I can, you know, simplify this. I can get pull out the 10. So I can say that this might be 10 times 3 minus i if we did that. But I think that we're good enough with this. I have a real number in the front. I have my imaginary in the back. That's it. But both answers, this one and this one, are technically equivalent. They're the same. That one was easy, guys. Moving on to the next one. Oh, same thing. I have two parentheses being multiplied by each other. I got to play fair. So negative 2 plus 4i all being multiplied by 8. The first term is like, yeah, I'm going to be multiplied by that 8. But then the second term is like, well, if you're going to be multiplied by 8, I need to be multiplied by 8 as well. So let's do it. Negative 2 times 8 is a negative 16. 4i times 8 is a plus 32i. So the same idea here. This is already in simplified complex notation, right? So this could technically be the answer. However, if you want to pull out the 16, because 16 times 2 is 32, I can just say that this would be, you know, 16 parentheses, negative 1 plus 2i, right? Because 16 times a negative 1 will give me the negative 16, and then the 16 times 2 will get me the 32. But either one is equivalent. I would even say that this is, you know, acceptable. But these were easy. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like if it helped you out. And if you want to help us out, please hit that subscribe button. It gets the word out to everybody all over the world that this service exists. And that would be pretty cool, right? And I thank you from the bottom of my heart if you press the subscribe button. But if you don't, I appreciate you guys. So thank you so much and have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. You got this. Bye.